Be sanctified. <laughs> Justice is blindsided. Don't send him to your grave. Stay put. How's that, Koichi? Any better now? Koichi! Koichi! Jaska... I used to think Mom and Dad were crazy for adopting you. I was the younger sibling, but I always felt like it was my job to help Mom and Dad take care of you. I thought I could set you free from the abyssal energy you struggled with. I guess I was pretty full of myself, huh? Thinking I could fix you when... Well, we were always the same. Hush, Koichi. Put those thoughts right out of your mind. We'll be at the stadium in no time, okay? I'll carry you there. The abyssal contamination is gone now. Just rest, and you'll get better. I was always nagging you to slow down. Stop rushing headlong into things. <sighs> I just didn't want anything to happen to you. Or to anyone else because of you. I worried about you so much. But now, I realize... I never really understood what it's like for you. The fact that you survived an abyssal contamination was a miracle. But it also left you in a constant state of agitation. <sighs> the fact that we became family was another miracle. But with me worrying about you all the time, it feels like I just agitated you even further. No, absolutely not. Nothing could be further from the truth, do you hear me? All you ever did was love me. Same goes for mom and dad. I've always known that. And I feel terrible because... I really did want to get along as a family. It might take me some time, but... I'll find a way to make it work. I'm so sorry, Koichi. I never meant to make you feel this way. It's okay, Chaska. No need to apologize. You didn't do anything wrong. No one did. It's nobody's fault that things didn't turn out great. I get it now. So, no nagging from me this time. You keep forging ahead, sis. Never slow down and never hold back. Spread your wings and fly free. Like the fiercest kookasaur in the sky. Show the world who the bravest flower feather warrior is. <laughs> because that's who you are. <laughs> and that's the sister I'm proud of. Koichi! 
Luigi! Luigi? What was that just now? It looked like abyssal energy was flowing out of her, but then a split second later, it disappeared. Koichi did say that Chaska needs to let off steam now and then, or she'll end up losing herself. But this time she wrestled back control. If only we were faster! Dealing with abyssal contamination is a piece of cake for you! We could have gotten to her earlier than you could have treated her before... Before it was too... Wait... What's happening to Cheska? How unfair life can be. She's had the odds stacked against her from the very beginning. And each step forward has been an agonizing one. Maybe she would have been better off embracing her pain. But her journey goes on, and one question looms large in her mind. If she could rise above the layers of pain, and ascend over the dark clouds of her mind, what then would she find? Maybe the glorious light of the sun, or maybe a dark, empty void. There is only one way to find out. She needs to spread her wings and soar to new heights. That is the true meaning of life. My life's suffering shall be my epitaph. To remember the pain I endured. And finally, transcended. <sighs> Let's take Koichi somewhere safer. Please, take care of Koichi for me. I still have more important things to do. Of course. We are grateful for her service. Yes. She served selflessly. I'm sorry, Chaska. It's all right. I'm far from the only one going through this right now. Koichi wanted to be a hero. And in my heart, she always will be. If we want to honor what she stood for, not to mention her sacrifice... Archon, 
We need to hurry. Hmm. Time for this war to end.